Well, hello. There I was, about to start my homework, turn my computer on, and this is what I heard. Not good. The reason why you're hearing that is because there's something wrong with my computer. What that beeping was, was BIOS beep codes. Those beep codes start as soon as you turn your computer on if there's something wrong with your computer. Usually a hardware issue, memory, hard drive, something like that. Now there's easy ways to figure out what's wrong with it. The first thing you need to do is find another computer or a smartphone and Google search what those error codes are. You can look up even your manufacturer's website might have a list of what those error codes mean. Um, codes may be different in length. You might have just a steady stream of beeps like that was, or one or two beeps at a time, uh, maybe three or four beeps. Um, once you look it up, you'll be able to narrow it down. With that steady stream of beeps, I happened to look it up from my computer, and it was the memory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the memory in my computer. So first step was to order some. I went to my manufacturer website found out exactly what kind of memory I needed for my computer and went online and ordered it. Well, I ordered it from Newegg. Newegg has a good selection. They have decent prices and usually about a three to five day wait time. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated or sponsored by Newegg. After waiting three to five days, oh look, a package. It must be my memory. Hey, memory for a PC. So, now it's time to change the memory. What you'll need is just your basic built screwdriver and your PC. You'll want to turn your PC over and remove the battery. It's always a good idea to remove the battery. You do not want to get a shock while you're working with the internal parts of the computer. You also want to make sure you're not possibly staying on a carpet doing this. You could cause static electricity. Static electricity is really bad for the internal components of a computer. Now that the battery's removed, I'm going to remove the back or bottom cover of the laptop by unscrewing all the screws. Once all the screws are loose or removed, I'm going to remove the back panel. And you will notice that there are two cards, memory cards, in the computer. So now that I know that I have not have any static electricity, I am going to push over the two pins. And you'll see the memory flopped up. I'm going to remove the memory. And there's two sticks of memory in here. So I'm going to flip that one up. Same thing, remove it. I'm going to take the old memory. It's useless now, so it's just going to go in the garbage. And take the new memory out of the package. Now that I have the new memory, I'm going to place it back in the PC. You'll see that there's a slot on the memory. This slot will go in the slot for the PC. Just slide it in there and push it down. You hear the click from the two side pins that are holding the memory in. And so this one has two sticks. You put the second stick in, same thing. Push it down, you hear the clicks, and done. Easy enough. We'll take the back panel, place it back in. Now remember, make sure you do not have any static electricity while you're working with any internal parts of the computer. That is not good. You will have a good chance of ruining one of the parts. 
in the internal part of your computer. Now the back panel's back on, put the battery back in place, flip the laptop back over, and we are going to start it up this time and make sure that it's running and we're not going to get any beeps hopefully if the memory is good that we received from the manufacturer. As you can see we came up with a Windows Air recovery that's because we had a problem with the computer. We fixed that problem so we're going to start Windows normally. And while Windows is starting, um, you can look up the air codes, like I said, with any manufacturer website. You usually have the manufacturer of your laptop will have it on their website. Or just do a simple Google search. Just Google search the type of beeps it was, whether it was two or three beeps, a long beep, short beep, um, the time, how long it took the beeps to stop and start. And you should be able to find exactly what the problem was with your computer. It might have been uh, several beeps for a hard drive issue even, or several beeps for a CPU issue, which is your computer processor. So now that we're still waiting, oh, it's looking good. The computer's starting. We're just waiting for Windows to load. And once Windows loads all the way, we will uh, be done with this demonstration. Oh, look at there. The computer is happy. It got new memory and it's working. Awesome.